Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to fix XML parsing error issue in Microsoft Word. Right now I am facing the same issue in this file. Let's open to show you. You can see this. Uh, it is saying that we are sorry we can't open error file .docx because we found a problem with its contents. So let's check the details. It says XML parsing error and it says the part word document dot XML and line two and column two five six three nine double four. So uh, it sounds odd since we know that the uh, word file is just a DOCX file, but it says an XML file. So let let me tell you that my a Word document is actually a zip file, and the and inside of it there are lots of XML files in it. Let's show you. So an easy way to uh, turn this file into an X into a zip file just rename as zip and okay let's close this here. I just rename the file again as zip and now I double click and you will see this all the folders and XML files inside of it since uh, if we kn if we remember the message uh, error message we, we, we were seeing is that we had an um, error in the documented XML file so here is the documented XML file let's extract it from the zip and let's open it and you can open the XML file using Notepad++. I like Notepad++, so let's open it. Let's add it with Notepad++. So we have opened it, and they were uh, in the message was appearing that uh, say said that we the error was in on line two and column. I did remember, but. Right now we are only we are only seeing just two lines. Okay, so to fix this formatting issue, you need a plugin that is XML Tools. You can down. I have already downloaded, installed in Notepad Plus Plus. You can find it in the Plugin Manager and Show Plugin Manager, and you can find it here. And let me show you. I just scroll down and. You will see here since I have already installed it, uh, it is appearing on my installed column. So if you have not installed it, you will find the XML Tools plugin here, and you just check, just check the plugin and then hit install. Since I have installed it, and so no need for me. So after you install it, you have to go to the plugins and go to the XML tool and hit pretty prints XML only with line blanks so after that it this plugin will format this XML file for you so very time saving I think so now still working okay now it is formatted for us and now let's go to the line 2 as said in the message so it's a pretty big font, pretty big tag so we can't delete this one so now we need uh, some more thing to fix this issue, uh, to fix these these issues, there are sometimes you can't fix the. Sometimes your file is very badly corrupted, so you you must need a backup for this file. And I have already a backup for this file that it was working. And 
I can use some of those tags, some of the tags from the from working file to get this working again and also avoid the loss of work as well so I have the working file mm, that is here I copy it and paste it here and rename it as zip and just I will rename this as old and extract it here and open it again in the notepad plus plus and will do the same that is and go to the line 2 again and I'll copy this file copy this tag again it's cool. and close it just paste it in our error file okay now you save it so now it say it's saying that mm, we have issues in the document file tags um, so we have to we can't completely replace this okay so we open it again and let's start with some little copy pasting I copied a attribute from our old working file to our new error file on line 2 Okay, now I've just pasted the attributes, my ultra attribute to our error working error file, and now I just copy the file, zip file, the document, and the, the document XML file back into our zip file and then rename it as docx and I hit open I still have the error and now the error message has changed it is saying that the, the error is still on the document of XML on the line 97 970 so let's go back to the line 970 and I just rename again zip and maybe word program is running I have to close it rename now open the zip file and again extract the document file and again open the notepad and then and now go to the line 970 I hit page down quickly go down to the 970 line so right now we are on the line 970 and uh, let's on the line 970 you should delete the whole tag that is starting from which is starting from vgroup that is highlighting you can see this the whole tag is this one this is vgroup starting and vgroup end tag 
so if you delay this hold tag and hit save and close it and put it back into the zip file in the word folder now close it and rename it as docx and voila the problem has solved so it's a little bit trick and sometimes these uh, the way I, I solved uh, is may not work for you but uh, I found this working for me so it's not bad to try this one if you work a lot on your file and you can't afford to lose the data so let's try it hope it will work for you thanks